Hello everybody. So I'm gonna do a, just a, another quick video, nothing too fancy, but um, I'm inside my uh, temporary garage thing shed, you want to call it, for the Mahindra tractor here. Anyways, um, we're at 20 hours on the uh, the dial. So so far everything's going good. A um, couple things. That's for those that are getting into this kind of stuff. Um, do lots of lots of research. Um, I guess if I had to change anything on this particular tractor, the uh, the 20s. Yes, it's only a 19 horsepower. I knew that going in, but um, if you're putting on your pallet forks, which are here. Your lift capacity will definitely change, and not for the better. Um, when I went back to the dealership, one of the techs was telling me that the lift capacity for this is 680 pounds, basically 700. That when, but that's going to be at the pins. Um, when you put the forks on, you lose a lot of lift, depending on what you're lifting and how you're lifting and where it's positioned on the pallet forks or whatever it is you're. The, the item sitting on um, which you know it is what it is um, I have a um, three pallets that I'm using for wood storage inside the garage and I can't fill it I can only do about half full and I can lift it if I go I don't know maybe six or seven logs more then I, I can't lift it at all and you know what it is what it is we didn't you know it's a light tractor we have a few bridges on the property that my concern was getting across those bridges that they're great great for the four-wheeler can't take my truck on them because it's too heavy my pickup so we had to make sure that it, whatever we did pick up we'd be able to get across the ravines via these bridges that we have without having to reinforce anything or redo anything so hence why we bought this one of this particular model was because price as well as a few reviews. Um, the amount of time that we're actually going to be using it. If it's if I have to pick up something and it's just it's over the capacity, I just call my neighbor. He comes over with this bigger tractor and picks it up for me. So easy peasy. Anyways, um, I have ordered. Now, when I spoke to the dealership, they told me that the three point hitch, the quick hitch attachments they don't make them for this model uh one of my subscribers um for some reason i'm drawing a blank on your name i apologize i'll put it in the description uh, later on sorry about that i'm terrible with names um he basically has one and it works perfectly so um the p he said he bought it from pv mart um well PV Mart, local, doesn't have any, and the delivery is six to eight weeks. So, made a decision, and I ordered one from Princess Auto, and it comes tomorrow, supposedly. I ordered it yesterday, it should be here tomorrow, as per the uh, Purolator tracking number. So, I'm going to do another video on that to see whether it fits or not. If it doesn't, just return it, or I may sell it to my neighbor, one of the two. Um... Snow blower works great. We haven't had like a ton of snow, but we have enough that I was able to test it for the first time a few couple weeks ago just to make sure it works. And the PTO and everything is good to go. Um, went to use it today. Yesterday we were out with the tractor doing a couple of things and we had some wet snow coming down. And the tractor got wet from some, some wet snow. No big deal. Then I parked it in the uh, temp in the just garage here. And left the door open so they can air out and doesn't get all moist in here, whatever, from the condensation. Problem is, for those of you that have the same kind of, whether it's electric chute or a manual chute, if it gets wet and then the temperature drops, just remember, this is going to freeze. I don't need it at this particular moment, so I haven't really worried about it. But you can see that there is ice built up. Not a lot, but enough to prevent this from turning. So it's manual, so nothing's going to get broken. If you have the electric and it's exposed here 
and you get wet snow that comes down here or any other moisture from when you're snow blowing, make sure you pay attention before you burn out your motor that you don't that this isn't frozen. It's frozen in here. So just as an FYI there for those of you that are new to this and haven't paid attention to this, that, and the other, and there's probably a lot of stuff that we as new tractor owners are learning, whether it's the easy way or the hard way. I'd rather somebody get some information from this. Uh, but overall, yeah, it's good. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. They, uh, I, you know, we it was delivered. You know, everything's working, so to speak. Had to get the, um, let me just come over here. The box blade, I went and picked it back up again because it wasn't sitting flush. So what they did, whereas they just, I would assume, they drilled another hole and move the support arm back and then this way it gives it more more um, adjustment which is fine however I had to call NASA if it was ready <clears throat> they didn't call me back they said oh it's ready to come pick it up so I picked it up it's good to go um, we'll find out if the quick hitch actually works on this thing tomorrow if it shows up in time before it gets dark if not, then I'll do it the next day. Um, but I guess the only thing I can say is um, it's, it's a good little tractor. Um, if you're looking at buying something small that's not going to kill the bank, then do look into the Mahindra family. Um, John Deere, Kubota, yes, you're getting your money's worth. It, but And from what I've read, you are paying more for the name. I do have the John Deere lawn tractor. Um, we were going to go that direction, but the price tag was more. And you're basically getting the same tractor. I think, if I remember correctly, and correct me in the comments, I think it has a sim the 1025, I think it's called. I think it has this similar lift capacity, which is just about 700 pounds at the pin. So, But at the end of the day, if it does the job, then that, that's all that matters. There's a few things that, yes, this has limitations on, but we knew that going in. Um, if I could change anything on this, I think I already said in the video about... I can't remember what I said in the other video. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I could, I would have it a little bit stronger on the lift. That would be nice to have a little bit more lift capacity on this particular tractor. Um, you know, but... You know, it is small and it is a subcompact. Um, I'm still getting used to the hydraulics. When I go to lower, it is jerky when I'm lowering things. So I have to find the little sweet spot so that I can lower it at a uh, nice, calm lowering pace without it jerking. But that's because that's because I'm new at this and I haven't used a forklift in probably 10, 12 years. So it's going to take me a while to get back in the, in the saddle on that one. Um, but yeah, so if any of you that are watching this have, whether it's another tractor or this particular Mahindra, um, put in the comments if you have any suggestions, any, um, things that you found out the hard way that, uh, somebody could use for advice, uh, we can pass it on the knowledge and, um, yeah, so tomorrow, hopefully I get my three point hitch. I think it's a Spico, I think it's pronounced. Um, from Princess Auto. So that hopefully should show up tomorrow. And then I'm going to do a review. I'm going to do a video on that, whether it fits or not. I'll do a video on it to show that there's a possibility of yes or no on that one. And uh, yeah, that's it. So it's we got a wee bit of snow, unlike some that have a heck of a lot more. We only got just a little bit of snow, nothing too. Well, maybe a few inches, so it's not like that bad. But last couple of times I was able to, today I, I did fire up the snow blower just to clear the driveway just a wee bit, just to to get it done. Um, all right, that's it. So, um, put in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be great if you have not already. Um, I'm still new in this, and I still haven't bought a camera, and I'll probably don't, I'm not gonna. This is all done on the cell phone, and it's. Uh, just simple basic uh, videos I don't edit just way if I make a mistake it stays in the video 
If I mispronounce something, it stays in the video. Um, I think what I'm going to do is for add-ons and stuff, I might get one of those because this has a slot. Oh, where's my finger? There it is. It has a slot for that bar that you can attach to tell you if your buck is level. Because I'm still having to lean over to the side to see if a buck is level to the ground. So I'm, I might actually look into getting one of those. And I got the quick hitch hopefully tomorrow. We may get a, a rotary plow possibly for the summer. But I think over, I think that might be it. We've been eyeballing a grappler for the front, the quick detach. But I don't know, they're too expensive. So yeah, I don't know if I expend that much money. Anyways, um, I'm babbling on. Um, hope everybody's doing good and everybody's being safe. Don't forget to uh, comment if you have this and if you have any uh, suggestions for myself as well as others that we can learn. That'd be great. And have everybody a great day and we'll talk to you later on.